What does it mean to be well? I'm a proponent of live well, love well, and play well. I think it's a very simple way of asking yourself, what does that mean for you? But am I living well? Am I loving well, loving myself and others? And playing well means, am I finding time to do things that bring joy? But that's a question that everyone has to answer for themselves and really go, is the definition that you have for that based on what you want or also based on what you believe you're supposed to do? Because I think we always have, going back to the expired mindsets, the part of us that can be trying to live up to a picture of wellness that really doesn't match who we are. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think a lot of this has to go back to getting clear on who we are. Mm-hmm. Are, how much are we letting other things give us ideas of we are not enough or whatever that is? But I'm going to go tangential here because she has this wonderful set of affirmation cards that goes along with the book. Mm-hmm. And to me, the, I saw that as a wonderful way of keeping us on the right path day in and day out, get, creating a habit of looking at those affirmations. Do you, for those yeah. on the video, do you have them there? So you can show yeah, us I have them right here. So they're in this little sacket that you can, if you come to something that I do around the world live, you can get them physically. And then they're also digitally on Amazon. But I wanted to create these because it was important for me to give people something that when they close the book, they could very quickly still embrace the concept. So this one says, every small shift I make is a sign of my commitment to myself, right? And really helping us acknowledge those small or large wins. There's another one that says, my needs are not a burden. That goes back to when we're trying to think about the boundaries that we want to communicate, or maybe even the things that we feel about ourselves It takes us not feeling like a burden in order to make ourselves a priority. This one says the number on the scale is not a complete picture of my health. This might be one of my favorites. And it gives us a chance to go. Health is a very broad factor. And we want to look at your metabolic health. We want to look at your relational health. We want to look at your financial health. But the numbers beneath your feet really are a very small piece of data. So these are great to have, to put on your refrigerator, to put on your mirror, to put in your car, your purse, your wallet, wherever you want them so that you're reminded and and just really downloading a new message for yourself. And I like to play with them. I'll put in air quotes, tarot cards. I want you to choose the fifth one down. (laughs) Fifth one down. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth one down. Oh, says, I can love myself even when others don't. Oh, wow. That's a good one. (laughs) Yes. So they're not all centered towards body and weight. They're all centered around different things around, some around food. But like this last one says, I deserve to be seen without judgment. So they really cover a lot of different pieces that center on what it means to be well. 